What's going on everybody, Austin here. We are gonna go over the duck calling tutorial today. Let's do it. Okay, duck calls. There's single reads, there's double reads, there's triple reads. Do I get a cheap call? Do I get an expensive call? Where do I start if I'm a beginner? Hopefully I can help out and clear the air a little bit and give you a few tips and tricks in calling. Today we're going to go over a quack, a greeter, and a, and a hail call. So where do you start if you're a beginner? I recommend that you get a cheap $20, $25, you know, Walmart, Buck Gardner call and get a double read if you can. Um, double reads are a little bit more forgiving versus single reads and there's even triple reads, but they take a little bit more finesse. So I recommend anybody that's starting out to get a double recall. That's what my recommendation is. The reason why I say go cheap at the beginning, because who knows, maybe you're only using it once a year. Maybe you go out and you don't like it. You know, you're not going to be out a ton of money because some of these bad boys can go up for like 200 bucks on the high end. Um, luckily for us, we're kind of in that mid range. So this is the 970 Mallard that we offer. It's a double recall, fully customizable to what you want. So if you are interested, be sure to hit us up on the online store. Um, so as far as the calling, like I said, we're going to go over a quack, a greeter, and a hail call. So we're just going to put the insert in the webbing of our hand here. We're going to bring our fingers down relaxed. We're not going to choke it down real tight or anything. Some guys, I call these the fine tuners. Some guys use two fingers. Some guys use one finger like myself at times. And some guys use their whole hand. It's kind of preference and, you know, the way that they want it to sound. Maybe they played with it. You need to make sure you play with it too. And because they do sound a little bit different at times. Back pressure plays a huge factor in a duck call. Just like in a goose call, back pressure plays a factor. So here's a quack with my hand and uh, bringing my air from my diaphragm. And I'm using 10. T-E-N is my reference word. 10, 10, 10. It's a short burst of air. My tongue is the valve there. So 10, 10, 10. Okay, now you don't have to use the reference word 10. You can use yak, you can use quack, you can use duck. Find a reference word that works for you and try to run with it and practice with it a little bit. You can also change it up. It doesn't have to be the same word every time. Now, the reason why I mentioned back pressure a little bit ago is because it plays a huge factor on the sound of the call. And some guys don't touch on this and I think they should. Um, so here's what it sounds like with me bringing air from my diaphragm using my reference word 10 without any back pressure. Okay, here's with back pressure. Okay, you want to make sure you have that back pressure because it sounds more ducky, more realistic in my opinion. So now we're going to move on to a greeter call. Um, a greeter call is just three to five, maybe even ten quacks in a row, and you're kind of stair stepping them down like ten, 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 ten. It's like, hey, come on over here, come check this out. Now you know, you can kind of play with that a little bit. You can make the, the first note longer and then shorten them down. You know, kind of have a little bit of variation on it. And the only way that you're going to get better is if you practice and try. Um, now we're going to move on to a hail call. Now, this is a very aggressive, high note call. This is, it is a, it's a variation of a greeter call, but it's very loud and it's very out there. That is when ducks are farther than 200 yards out for sure. I would not recommend doing it when they're within... 150 because they've heard it a lot of times and it's not typically a hunting scenario type of call it's more of a competition but it has worked for some people so here is my hail call
guys at Competition Call, they can go for days doing that. Yak, 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 yak. And I mean, they just go to town. Um, that is not usually what you do in a hunting situation, but it has been effective to a point on getting birds to give you at least a look when they're that far out, um, especially in open water. So we went over a quack, a greeter call, and a hail call. So hopefully this helped you out. We're going to do two more videos for the series. So be sure to just hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and it will let you know when the next video comes up. So thanks, everybody. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.